everybody to lesson number two in the series that I'm calling N.A. Mike's Newest Drum Lessons. This is a, a fellow forum member of Doc's Rock Band Mods. T-shirt on says, I avoid warranties. He's taking drum lessons. He's on his, I think, fourth week now. And every week he posts on the forum about what he's learned, and then I film it for you. So what we're going to do this week is a basic punk beat. It's going to be quarter notes on the hi-hat. So one, two, three, four. Snare is going to play on two and four. And the kick is going to play on one. And then on the end of two and three. The notation looks like this. So we're going to do, again, three times through of that beat. And then a fill, which consists of flam, kick, flam, kick, flam, kick, flam. So here's what it sounds like slow. I know that seems really easy, but the, the, what's going on here is your right foot is being forced to play kick notes when there's no hi-hat going on. When you're playing eighth notes, that's easy, because they're both doing it at the same time. But on this one, you have to separate your right hand from your right foot, and that's where this starts to get tricky for new drummers. So now I'll play it a little faster. Kind of sounds a little bit like Hey Mickey, remember that song from the 80s? Alright, maybe I shouldn't have done that, let's just, I'll cut that out later. So, when you start playing it faster and faster, what you're going to want to do with the hi-hat is loosen it up a little bit, make it a little more splashy to fill in the gaps, make it sound like you're playing eighth notes, but you're really not. So instead of this tight, Open it up a little bit and let it let it ring out. Not like that. So when you're playing it fast, it goes like this. Like I said, this is a basic punk beat. You'll hear this in like Blink-182 songs, uh, Green Day songs, uh, some older punk, uh, Black Flag for you older folks out there, like me. Um, so when you start playing it faster and faster, like I said, it's a really simple beat. It just sounds fast. It sounds better when it's fast. So again, once you've mastered that, start adding in extra stuff to the fill, add in a little extra stuff to the beat. Uh, I'm going to close my hi-hat clutch here, just let it drop. That way I can put my second foot on my left kick drum, throw in a little double kick stuff on the fills and on the beat. That's all for today.